Hey, it's Emma, and we're continuing to look at the internet by focusing now on data packets. In addition, we'll look at what router gateways are, and what exactly packet switching is, and before covering what URLs are. Okay, so when you send data over a network, it isn't sent all in one go. It's broken down into smaller chunks called data packets. A packet is, conceptually at least, split into a further three sections, which are called header, body or payload, and footer or trail. The, there are a few alternative names for these sections though, so feel free to use whatever terms you've learnt and are most comfortable with. The header contains information about the data. It'll have the packet number, which is the number of the packet in relation to the sequence of packets. This is needed so that the data can be reassembled in order. A packet number of zero would relate to the first packet in the sequence. It will contain IP addresses and MAC addresses. We haven't covered them yet, so don't worry. There will be addresses of each for both the receiving and sending device. Other important data the header contains are details of the protocol being used to transmit it. The body is the actual chunk of data being transmitted. The other two sections are like its metadata, if you prefer. Finally, the footer usually contains some data to do with security or error prevention or correction. It might contain a hash total, which we will cover in the security video. Leading nicely on, a router is a hardware device that forwards packets. It receives a packet and uses the destination IP address to pass it to another computer or to another router. The route the packet travels depends on the destination IP address. As mentioned in the previous video, most household routers are wireless as they have a wireless access point embedded. A normal router hanging from the small ones in our houses to the huge tier one internet service providers use are designed to connect networks that both use the same link layer protocol. We'll talk about protocol layers in TCP IP videos, but it's like a router is just passing along a message in the same language from start to finish. In comparison, a router gateway, or just a gateway, is needed when networks want to communicate despite using different link layer protocols. It's like people who speak different languages needing a translator at some point in the communication process. The gateway does, does the necessary conversions, for example, changing the format of the data packet. In the definition of an IP address in the previous video, I said that it defines where it is located geographically. This is because IP addresses ranges are allocated to specific regions of the world by internet registries. The router gateway in LANs, represented on the far left of the screen, will receive packets from the host connected to them and pass them on to a local router that it's connected to. This router will then pass the packet onto the national router, then to international routers if the packet needs to go somewhere else in the world. Basically, routers are organized in a geographical hierarchy and they contain routing tables and information about other routers connected to them, allowing them to pass on packets in the right direction, so to speak. Sending data using packets, called packet switching, is one method for transferring data over networks. TCP IP is a packet switching protocol, so this is what internet uses. No fixed path is created between the communicating devices. Each packet can take a different route to reach its destination. Just to give you more context, an alternative would be circuit switching, where a single circuit is established and a steady stream of data is sent. 
Packet switching was proved to be the better option in the 1960s, though. Right. Moving on to something admittedly not hugely packet related, but it had to go somewhere. So URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator, and they are a way of identifying the location of resources like web pages on the internet. URLs are sometimes said to be split into how, where, and what. The how part is in the form of the protocol, which on the web is most likely to be HTTP. Remember, a protocol is another word for rules. This is then followed by the host. If we're looking for a default web server, it will usually be www. Even if we don't type it, that's where our browser usually takes us. This means it is hosted on the World Wide Web. The host could be any other name for a computer, like Laptop One, for example. This is then followed by the domain name, which, combined with the host is the where, the domain name is made up normally of the name of the company and the location and or type of company, and finally, the path of the file that you are requesting from the host, the what. If it's a web page, the final file will be HTML or PHP or something like that. Right, let's recap. A packet is just a chunk of the larger data being transmitted. It's divided into a header, body and footer, so it contains other information to help route it and details for security. A router is a device whose purpose is to forward these packets. The internet uses packet switching, meaning packets can pass the data through different paths from source to destination. And finally, URL stands for Uniform Resource Location, and it's the way we use to specify the resource we want to access.